So uh, we took the Wi-Fi and uh, copy that over. So now let's take uh, now let's take the Bluetooth. So again, we just need to figure out what Bluetooth stuff we need to put in here. And it so happens that on this system on a chip, the Bluetooth is provided. So it should theoretically be identical between these two phones because they have the same system on a chip, which is providing the Bluetooth. Now, this is not always the case. We have to search this stuff out. But since it's the same, I think we can just borrow the Bluetooth stuff. So let's take a look at the file. And we will see it defines the local name. And we want to change that to be blocks too, or whatever you want for your device. Um, but other than that, these settings should be correct because that works on the other phone. So we'll just take that and put it in. So search to make sure there's no Bluetooth in here. And there is some um, stuff from Framework. Of course, framework is fine. We don't have to worry about framework stuff because that's something in Android itself, not in what we are um, putting into our device tree. And you can prove that to yourself by going and looking at those um, where they are. Um, Move that Bluetooth folder to the old. And uh, we'll make sure to uh, push our stuff to our device. But essentially, you know, we're just going through, we're figuring out every piece of hardware that's on this phone. What do we need to go get to make it work? And in this case, it's easy because we have a donor phone that's similar. If you don't, you might have to pull from several different phones or from several different places, um, you know, uh, web searching and github uh trolling is probably your friend and uh, you're just going to try to find something that's similar and drag that stuff and put it in or write something from scratch if you're really good probably way better than me and you don't need this video series 